Welcome to Hollywood. Hollywood because obviously there are no parks in Hollywood. There's probably parks, but not on Hollywood Boulevard where it's all commercial, all tourism. And if you've never been to Hollywood Boulevard, it smells like urine and it's not really great. But a lot of people like to go visit it. There are better places to see if you come out to Southern California, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about dinosaurs. Today's dinosaur of the day is Baryonyx, and let me tell you, it is a tough one to dart. You really have to be careful on that. The hardest thing for me was the tail. With the tail wagging back and forth, it made it really impossible to get anything good as far as a dart number off of. I highly recommend a couple of things. First of all, make sure you dart other dinosaurs before you try to get your Baryonyx. Secondly, make sure you hit a direct hit with that first dart because that's going to be your best chance and probably the first two darts you're going to have a good opportunity for direct hits and that is going to be your best chance to accumulate the DNA. Briefly, going over the stats of Baryonyx, its base health of 1895, damage 667. It's got a 20% chance of a critical hit but no armor and a speed of 121. It has a couple of nice moves and it's an interesting set of moves. Armor piercing strike is one times damage bypassing armor. That's your move that's available all the time. The second move is ready to crush. It's going to increase your damage 50% and a critical chance of plus 30. That means you are going to have a 50% chance of landing a critical attack for the next three turns. Remember your cooldown on this move is going to be two turns. Finally, you have Defense Shattering Rampage. It's going to destroy shields, bypass any armor, and deal two times the damage. There is a cooldown of one and a delay of one, so you're not gonna be able to use that move on your first attempt. In very limited practice, I would say it's probably best to open up with the Ready to Crush, unless you swap this dinosaur in after another dinosaur has passed out or fainted or died or whatever you want to call it. And then you'd load up the ready to crush so that your next three moves have a chance of completely taking out just about any dinosaur you're going to face in the battle arena. But I wanna tell you more than what is available just today. No, no, no. I wanna tell you what's available this weekend because they are good. No, scratch that. They are great dinosaurs. Tomorrow, which is Saturday, you're gonna have the chance to dart Indoraptor. We've seen Indoraptor's moveset, we've seen everything about it, and A, it's going to be extremely expensive. Just like I thought, I did a video on that a couple days ago, and it's actually even more expensive than I thought. I thought it would be 1,000 Velociraptor DNA, when in fact it's actually going to be 2,000 Velociraptor DNA per pop to try to get the Indoraptor. Unless you're at the very highest tiers, you're probably not going to face Indoraptor. I'm not really going to go over it. We don't know how many darts you're going to get at it. It very well could be one dart. I imagine that you'll probably get three darts to throw at this and quite honestly, I have a feeling that it is going to be, like I've said before, highly erratic, really fast, small targets, and 
racking up any huge total of DNA I think is going to be very difficult unless you're at a very high level in the game. But the dinosaur that you're going to have a more realistic chance of getting enough darts to unlock and be able to use immediately comes on Sunday and that is blue. I went ahead and bought another incubator so that I could unlock this dinosaur because I wanted to give you guys a feel for the dinosaur before it actually comes out so you can decide on your own do you want to make the effort to go out and use your three attempts for the newest raptor in the game blue is an epic class dinosaur it has a base health of 1443 and a speed of 131 that is going to make it the second fastest dinosaur in the game second only to velociraptor the damage of 640 there is a 10 percent armor which velociraptor does not have and a just a five percent critical chance but this raptor like a lot of the other raptors has three moves you have strike which is going to deal one times damage you have pounce which is going to deal two times damage reduce your target's damage by 50 percent for one turn and you are going to have a one turn cooldown on that move and unlike velociraptor and what might make this a better dino than velociraptor is short defense it's going to deal one times damage which is not that impressive but you have a 50 percent shield for two turns and a cooldown of two this is going to give blue a lot more survivability in the battle arena than a lot of the other raptors currently in the game what i want to do now is i want to celebrate that's right i finally broke through and reached 3,000 trophies in the game which gets me to sonora marshes the seventh and currently the top arena in the game if the rumors are true it looks like an eighth arena is going to be added very soon and it only makes sense if you look underneath the little dinosaur emblem there there is a one star gold i imagine that if we look lockdown had a three star silver badlands had a two star silver and nublar jungle had a one star silver i would not be surprised to see an eighth arena that was a two star gold eventually at some point with the elo system that they currently have in place for the game we're going to get up into platinum diamond who knows what but i definitely expect there to be an eighth and even a ninth battle arena added to the game over the next you know battle arena number eight probably within the next two weeks and then maybe a ninth within the next six to eight weeks or so but what i want to do is a couple of things i want to battle i want to take in we're going to go look at my team i have the blue i have the stiggy moloch i could put in the baryonyx and in fact we will we'll put in baryonyx it does have a hybrid which is triostonics maybe i said that correct and i need to get to level 15 <laughs> and i've got to get this post metrodon to level 15 as well I don't even have this thing started because I don't have Pasto Sucas at all. It's at level six. So that's going to be a long time for me. But I'm going to go ahead and evolve this at least once. I probably have enough gold. Nope, I don't. I'm 11 short. I still have one more Baryonyx to catch before. Well, by the time you guys see this, I will have already caught my third. But when I'm recording this part of it, I still have one more Baryonyx to catch. I will get that up to level 14. I'm gonna take out my Oranosaurus and put in my Baryonyx. So you see my team, T-Rex, Velociraptor, it's the uh, Eniosuchus, the Baryonyx, the Stegoceratops, the Notopotosaurus Blue, and the Stiggy Moloch. And I will say, having used Stiggy Moloch for half a day yesterday, it's actually a really nice dinosaur. I, I'm kind of digging it. I, I can't lie about that. So the first thing we're gonna do is open this incubator. It's just a three hour incubator and I do have information because a lot of you have been asking me about incubators. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna battle. Don't be surprised if I get absolutely dominated. The only other time that I've made it up to the Arena 7 I think I got swept. I think it was 3-0. I, I, I didn't, obviously I didn't even knock out a dinosaur, but it was no contest. 
a lot of Indominus wrecks up in this area. Pray for the best here. <clears throat> so my dinosaurs to choose from are blue. Actually, we have all three of the new ones. I'm going to lead with Eniosuchus. It's my more tankier dinosaur. We're gonna go up against a T-Rex. Level 13's not too bad. That's bad. Those critical hits are, are tough, man. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring out blue because we have the speed advantage here. And we're gonna go with pounce on the first move. If we don't knock him all the way out, and we really should, that's what I thought. And here's where blue is better than Velociraptor. Oh no. Oh no. You remember yesterday's video when I said these, this dinosaur completely wrecks my team? This dinosaur could completely wreck the rest of my team. The good news is, is I'm faster. And where blue is better than Velociraptor is that shield that just kept me from getting one hit knockout. Now, unless he swaps out, I should be able to take out. Ooh, that was super close. But the shield helped me again. Instant charge is going to knock me out. Stiggy Moloch is faster. So we're gonna come out and get the quick headbutt. I know that's not really the name of the move, but he headbutts him. And then I'm, unless he brings out a Velociraptor, ooh, this is interesting. Because I'm actually going to swap out here. I'm gonna impact and swap. So I took out a little bit of damage. I knew he was gonna go Thagomizer. Ew, this is gonna be close. I don't think I have enough. And I don't. That was tough. That Thagomizer also included in yesterday's video. So we're going to be demoted back down to lockdown. We're going to take this same group of dinosaurs into battle. I really thought that Blue was going to be able to take out the Utah Cenosaurus there. I just 100 damage too short. And that comes from Blue not being leveled up really high enough to compete. I'm actually going to open with Notopotosaurus here. If you are looking for an opener, and my opponent opened with Velociraptor, so this should be good. Notopotosaurus, I really like. What's gonna end up happening here is he's gonna pounce. It wasn't a critical hit, so I'm gonna survive. I'm going decelerating impact, and all this stuff I talked about in yesterday's video, so go ahead and check that out. So now I'm faster. I'm gonna put up a shield. And that forced him to swap out into a Stegosaurus. I'm gonna get a free attack here because he's gonna use Thagomizer. Another level 17 Stegosaurus. It does have some nice hybrids. And it is abundantly available just during the day out in the wild. It's not at all an uncommon spawn. I think there's two of them in this park right now. Don't think we're gonna get another hit off. But what I can do is, I think I have a Stiggy Moloch in here, and I do. We're gonna give this guy another chance. Ooh, critical hits, those are tough. What's gonna happen is I'm most likely going to be able to knock out my opponent here, 13 more. That's unfortunate. So in all likelihood, we are going to lose this one as well. The fact that we really need Stiggy Moloch to knock him out on that last one. Now the way that you can tell is if you're not good at the math, for the most part, the way you can tell is if you hold down the move, it'll show you level 19. What are you gonna do? It'll show you how much damage you're gonna do to your opponent. 
and I've got to do another one because I have to win one. Now I've lost two, so this should be a bot. I believe the pattern is if you lose two, then you go up against a computer bot in the game. I'm actually going to open with my Velociraptor here. A level 18 Tyrannosaurus. I don't know. I don't have enough power to take him the rest of the way out. We're going to swap out to our T-Rex here. Impact and run. Kentrosaurus, also mentioned in yesterday's video. We need a critical hit here. We didn't get it. We did not get our critical hit. Instant cripple, I'm only gonna do 10% damage here. Again, not a critical hit. Ugh, this is bad. I could bring out my Velociraptor to finish this, but I kinda wanna save it. Maybe we can get just not strong enough. But, unless he swaps out, this is going to be the move right here. Even at 10%, no. <laughs> I just, I cannot get a move. I'm still faster. We finally finished off the first dinosaur in what feels like forever here. But this is going to be good because now I'm going to stun the Iranosaurus. And I very could, I very well could end up winning this because he's stunned. Now, I'm going to go with the impact and run for the knockout. Hopefully, it brings in my Velociraptor. Hopefully, and it did. So now, I have a really good chance of going pounce. and then strike and taking out the Allosaurus. It's not gonna work. I'm not gonna... We're gonna go ahead and do this anyways, even though it's not enough damage and I am sacrificing my Velociraptor. But what I can do is both of my dinosaurs are faster. So we're gonna bring in Stiggy Moloch for the final attack. And now we get the critical hit when it really didn't even matter. So we finally pull off a victory. Get some of those trophies back. We're still shy of leveling up to Arena 8 again. And as you see, I picked up a 12-hour incubator. And that comes as actually no surprise. There is a very set pattern to the incubators. As I've referenced before, metahub.info has a people that are willing to do research that look into like tendencies and repeat occurrences within this game. And one thing that was discovered is the cycling incubators. So currently, there is a very distinct pattern for the incubators. At the beginning of a cycle is a three hour incubator. Those are by far the most common. That is gonna be followed up by a 15 minute incubator. Consecutive three hour incubators are going to follow that. And if you are just starting off on a clean cycle, that is gonna be all four of your incubator slots. If you time it correctly and you do the 15 minute incubator first, after that 15 minutes, your next win is going to generate an eight hour incubator. This cycle is going to repeat five times, with the exception of on the fifth incubator that should be the eight hour incubator, you are going to receive either the 12 hour incubator or the 24 hour incubator. Now this is set up so that no matter what, it is going to follow this pattern. You can't manipulate the system to have full incubators up until the point when you are ready to receive your 12 or 24 hour incubator and only collect those. So don't try to manipulate the system, it just doesn't work. 
when you have a free slot, your next incubator is gonna be whatever is up next in line. Now, like anything, this is a research in progress. I have started tracking this, and I will say that for me, this is holding true. The 12-hour incubator there was not an unexpected occurrence. I'm actually really excited to receive those. But if you wanna be part of the research team, Head over to the Discord. I have a link down in the description below. It's metahub.info if you want to check out their website. And you can look at this as well. There is a lot of other information in their release today about expected things coming in the future. Just way too much for me to do in one video. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I, 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 I'm super excited. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, whatever you have to do, I want to see how much Indoraptor DNA you get, and then I want to see how much blue DNA you get. And do you think that you're going to be able to use blue right away? You know, the problem with these newer dinosaurs is they are only available through incubators or through the one time event where they were available for that one specific day. A lot of the newer dinosaurs are going to be very underpowered compared to, say, a common dinosaur that you have at a much higher level and therefore may not make these newer dinosaurs usable until we have another way to collect more DNA. Have a great weekend, guys, and I will catch up with you later.